We have some breaking news coming from the NEN development team. Late yesterday, they have officially announced version two of the software. It's been two years since version one has came out. And the best part about version two, well, you're only going to have to wait a few weeks because the beta comes out December 8th and the stable version comes out one week later on the 15th. This does apply to both cloud users as well as self-hosted. And if you're on enterprise, don't worry because that change is also coming to you. In addition, there's some major changes that people have been wanting to have in the software that will be included. And there's a few unannounced surprises, their official words, that will be coming out on December 8th. We're going to cover some of the big changes that are being applied. And then we're going to go over some of those breaking changes, because if you have some of these errors in version one, when you migrate over to version two, and your workflows are going to stop working. There might be some questions about, hey, I don't want to move into version two right now. It's the holidays. I'm pretty busy. How long is version one going to be supported for? Well, NAN said it's going to be supported for up to three months. You won't get any new features. However, it'll fix any bugs or security issues. So you have a, a decent amount of time to migrate over. And I honestly don't think it'll be too tough to migrate. In fact, I'll make a video talking about migration a little bit later when I get access to it. So what are the big changes that are coming to version two? What are people excited for? Well, one of the big features that I know a lot of people are excited for is going to be the auto save feature. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like everyone has made mistakes where you build out a workflow or make a ton of different changes and then you close out of it or you're, you turn off your computer thinking you saved and you log back in later that day or tomorrow. And guess what? Those workflow saves changes were not saved. And it's annoying because you got to rebuild. Well, autosave is going to officially be announced. That's their top feature that is coming into version two. I'm kind of curious from like the user side, is this going to change automatically save every time you add in a new node? Is it going to be based off of a time period? Like, hey, it's going to autosave every minute or every five minutes or every 15 minutes. Is there going to be some control for users to select? Hey, I do want autosave or I don't want autosave, which I don't know why you wouldn't want autosave. Um, so yeah, I'm very curious on that side of things, but it, it's a huge feature that's needed. Again, I feel like a lot of people have issues with no autosave over there. Next, uh, there's going to be a lot of UI changes. So uh, the, the notes mentioned that the canvas is going to be redesigned with a cleaner UI, as well as the sidebar uh, being cleaned up on that side as well. So kind of just a major overhaul of the software. Now, I'm hoping that the UI just has some subtle changes because personally, I really like the UI of any end right now. So Obviously, designs get dated over time and you need to update them, but I kind of hope it's kind of like a Photoshop update where, yeah, we'll add in a few new features, we'll slightly change it just for based off of the design trends, but it's not a complete overhaul. In addition, there's quite a few different security updates that were well needed. And we'll cover those, especially in the breaking changes, because that's kind of where those are going to be at. And yeah, there's a few other features that the NAN team, I'm sure, will announce over the next week and a half or two weeks. So be on the lookout for that on social media. I'll also be making any updates in our school community as they are being announced. But really quick, I want to jump into the official release notes as well as any of the breaking changes. So I'm just going to share my screen and we're going to walk through those. All right, so here is the release notes, which uh, were in the NAN community forums under announcements. So really good spot to find out if anything happens. So just V2 for short, they released uh, version one in July of 2023. Uh, so it says we're adding some new cool features and breaking changes to lay groundwork for even better things. So when is this happening? We already talked about December 8th and December 15th. Uh, they have release notes over here, which I typically take a look at because I want to make new videos for you guys. So what is coming in V2? So first is auto save, which we mentioned. Uh, next is improved canvas look and feel as well as the sidebar. And then a few surprises, which man, tell us a little bit more about those surprises because I'm interested because right now it looks like auto save, uh, some security features, which are in the breaking changes and the UI updates. So what are the breaking changes? We'll cover this document in a second. Does self-hosted get it? Yep, as I mentioned over here, we have the three months wait period. So it's three months after release of 2.x, uh, but we'll only include bug and security fixes. And if you have any questions, it says mention that into the community forum. So all these people are posting over here based off of it. But uh, what you guys are gonna care about are these breaking changes. So let's jump into those. So the first side of it over here is there are some behavior changes. So this talks about returning uh, data with a sub workflow. 
specifically if it has a wait node. So it says previously when a workflow parent called a sub-workflow child that contained a node that waits, the parent workflow incorrectly received the input items for the waiting node in the child workflow. In V2, the parent workflow now receives the output data from the end of the child workflow instead. So a subtle change over there. Remove nodes for retired services. So they only mentioned three over here, but I do feel like uh, node retirement is gonna happen more often because it does really feel like AI companies are popping up overnight. And you know, some don't get funding, some just kind of shut down. So I've not heard of these three. If you have, let me know what they do. Um, but yeah, I kind of assume that there's gonna be more nodes removed over time. Uh, security wise, block environment variables access to the code node by default. So I haven't covered the code nodes yet on the channel. Actually, it was on my backlog for December. So I'm probably gonna wait a little bit later, maybe push that into January uh, for the Python and the JavaScript videos. Um, environmental variables are used quite a lot in programming. So and this one blocks them and the code node by default. Well, we'll this will all be covered in that full code tutorial. Uh, next is enforce setting file permissions. So a little bit more information over there. Enable task runners by default. Remove task runner from any NIO Docker image. More Python code node updates over here, which again, I'll be covering in that specific video. Uh, disable execute command and local file trigger nodes by default. Require authentication on OAuth callback URLs by default. Uh, set default value for NAN restrict. And then we have change default value over here to the skit node. So those are some of the security changes, uh, which there's quite a bit. And I know that has been a concern as well. Uh, for some people like, man, NAN is awesome, but they really need to start tidying up their security. So a lot of changes coming in and I'm sure there's others. Uh, next we have data. So I uh, dropped MySQL and MariaDB, remove SQLite legacy driver, remove in-memory binary data mode. Uh, so that's a little bit interesting over here. So NAN will remove the default mode for NAN, uh, which keeps execution binary data in memory during execution for better performance and stability following the options will be available starting from V2. So you have some options over there. Uh, configuration environment, upgrade.env. So we talk about that over there. Uh, remove NAN tunnel option and then remove Q worker max stalled count. We have CLI and workflow, remove CLI command operation to activate all workflows. Uh, which activates all workflows at once they'll be removed to prevent accidental activation of workflows in production environments. So again, kind of like, I know this isn't security, but it kind of feels like that over there. And those are the breaking and changes. So not a ton over there that should destroy your workflows, um, but just stuff to, to be aware of. And I'm sure this document is gonna be updated up through the 8th and all the way through the 15th. I'm sure there's gonna be bugs on version two release, but uh, it is well needed. So let me know guys what you think of version two. Um, what changes do you want to see? I might make a second video talking about uh, features that I wish was in NAN. And if you guys wanna see that, let me know. Uh, I think it would be a pretty fun video to do. And maybe I'll, I'll pull you guys as well, maybe. And we'll talk about some of the features that you guys want to see in NAN. And I'll cover that in that specific video. Uh, thanks for checking this out. If you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe. We have like well over 60 NAN videos. I'll put the playlist on the screen right now. I don't know if this will be officially in the NAN playlist or not, but uh, check that out. And I will catch you guys in another video.